In this short video, we're going to be going over 10 behaviors that can and will destroy your relationship. Let's get to it. Number one, you're too distracted. When you're with your partner, are you distracted by other things like the phone? Maybe someone's texting you and you're texting back. Could it be social media? Your partner deserves to feel important. So when you're spending time with your partner, be in that moment with them. Be present. Because when you're not present, they feel ignored. They feel like you really do not want to spend time with them. Number two, you're defensive. Say your partner comes to you with an issue and you suddenly get defensive. Maybe they feel like they're doing more in the relationship, maybe. But they want to raise this issue with you. But instead, you become defensive, angry, maybe even putting it back onto them. Maybe this defense is to protect yourself. Either way, you are avoiding an issue. And now your partner is feeling like they're not being hurt. And relationships need healthy communication. Now this brings us to number three, avoidance. Avoiding questions and conversations that are just hard for you. Maybe they're just emotional or, or painful. And it's okay to avoid having the conversations all the time. But it's not okay to avoid every one of them. Because you can't avoid 100%. They're going to keep coming back. It's the situation of you can't run. You have to face it. Face this. Answer these hard questions. Have that emotional conversation. Because if you don't, your partner is going to start holding resentment. Number four, criticism. Are you too critical? Do you criticize a lot? Even though you mean well, this can still drive a wedge. And it brings a negative dynamic to your relationship. And besides, it's going to make you lose track of why you love your partner. Because you're too focused on the mistakes. Number five. You idolize your partner. You put them on a pedestal. And you love them. And hold them to high standards. Now even though they might not be able to live up to those standards. You find that you're loving your partner for being someone in something they're not. So always remember, no matter what, you will never live up to anyone else's standards and they will never live up to yours. So love them for who they are. Appreciate them for who they are and idolize them for all the good that they do instead of wanting more. Number six, your past. Ignoring your past. Acting like it doesn't exist. Every one of us has a past. And your past, my past, our past makes us who we are. So don't pretend you didn't have a past. It's okay to be vulnerable with the one that you love and let them in on your past. That is what made you you. And honestly, if your partner leaves because of it, it was going to happen anyway. Better sooner than later. Because there's someone out there that will look at your past and love you for every last bit of it. Because it is who 
you are. Number seven, deception. Have you ever said anything to your partner that you really didn't mean? Maybe you told them a lie or maybe a little manipulation. Maybe the lie it wasn't a big deal to you, but it was to your partner and it will be to your partner. Truth and honesty has got to be there because if not, there goes the trust. And if you don't have trust in a relationship, what do you have? So being honest, yes, it's difficult. It's hard. And the truth may hurt sometimes, but the truth is always the better way to go. There is a thing is some things are better left unsaid. Some things still are better left unsaid. But don't lie to your partner. Number eight, competition. Now, if you are trying to always prove your partner wrong, this is going to cause stress, tension, and a lot of resentment. This is going to drive your partner away. Good, healthy relationships, they're, they don't keep tabs. They don't keep up with the numbers. It's not a competition. What needs to happen is you need to find a compromise that works for the both of you. Number nine, shaming your partner in public. Many couples pick on each other at home in private, but when this happens in a public setting, where you're teasing them, criticizing them, maybe calling them names or pick on them for a mistake they made. This puts them in a very uncomfortable situation. And it makes them feel belittled. It makes them feel extremely embarrassed. Number 10, expecting too much. By this, I mean, expecting your partner to be a mind reader. Your partner cannot read your mind all the time. And if you do and you get angry because they can't, this is not fair to them. It is your responsibility to verbalize what is wrong, what is wrong or what you are needing. Because your partner would never know of a want or something that you don't like or something's even wrong if you don't verbalize it. Most of these communication is the key. Proper communication. And if anything in this video resonated with you, hit the like, subscribe, ring that bell notification because I'm committed to being here to helping you Ride the healing waves to your best life.